Only on CBS This Morning, we spoke to Senator Sanders, the latest candidate to join the 2020 Democratic presidential race. Sanders responded to some of the president's criticisms and talked about lessons he learned from his 2016 campaign. What's your opinion of capitalism? Look, I think what we see uh, in this country and around the world is a lot of great entrepreneurs. But I think what is happening is some of these folks, uh, we are, have a system which allows these people to accumulate huge amounts of income and wealth. So when I talk about democratic socialism, somebody wants to call me a, a radical? Okay, here it is. I believe that people are inherently entitled to health care. I believe people are entitled to get the best education they can. I believe that people are entitled to live in a clean environment. People are entitled to have decent paying jobs. That's what I believe. The president mentioned socialism in his State of the Union address. Yeah, I heard that. What's he going after there? Ah, look, he's going to appeal. Uh, he's going to lie. Uh, he's going to say Bernie Sanders wants uh, the United States to become Venezuela. Bernie Sanders does not want to have the United States become the horrific economic situation that unfortunately exists in Venezuela and right now. What Bernie Sanders wants is to learn from countries around the world why other countries are doing a better job in dealing with income and wealth inequality than we are. So you got a president who is a demagogue, a president who is leading us in an authoritarian direction. I would hope that the American people don't believe too much of what he says. Democrats, you know this well, come to you and say, you're not a Democrat. Why are you running in the Democratic primary? Well, first of all, I am a member of the Democratic leadership. I've been in the Democratic caucus. But this is what I will also say. If you look at polling in this country, what you find is that a whole lot of people are dissatisfied with both the Democratic and Republican parties. And more and more people are seeing themselves as independents. So if, I, if the Democratic Party is going to do well in the future, I think they have to reach out to those independents, including, by the way, a lot of young people, a lot of people of color, and bring them into the Democratic Party. And I think I'm in a good position to do that. There were charges in your last campaign that women felt uh, there was discrimination against them, that there was sexism. You met with some of those former staffers. What did you learn? Uh, I learned that that was true. And uh, it, it, it breaks my heart. And, uh, you know, our campaign kind of exploded. We went from a few people to a lot of people. And I will be very honest uh, in telling you that, in retrospect, some of the people that were hired should not have been hired. And some women went through experiences that they should not have. But let me also say this. Uh, in my 2018 campaign for re-election to the United States Senate from Vermont, and in this campaign for president, we are going to have the strongest protocols uh, to protect the women and anybody else against uh, any form of harassment. Uh, we are going to be training every employee who works for us, uh, and we're going to give people who feel that they've been harassed the opportunity to talk to people outside of the campaign. So this has been an issue that has upset me, uh, and we're going to rectify it in this campaign. You'll be 79 when you're inaugurated. Yes. That's old by the standards of presidents. Yes. Should people be concerned about that? I think... Um, you know, when we look at, at people, whether they're old or they're young, you've got to look at the totality of, of the person. I'm sure you have bumped into people who are 90, who do great work. You have bumped into people who are 45 or 50. You've got to wake up because they're falling asleep all of the time. Uh, I have been blessed, thank God, I'm going to knock this as wood, I'm going to knock on it, with, with good health and with good energy. I was a cross-country runner, a long-distance runner when I was a kid, and I've been running hard, uh, in a sense, uh, since then. Well, those are good questions, gentlemen. Yeah. Well, and we had a lot more, which will be online about Amazon. You know, he supports uh, the, the, those people who are protesting against Amazon coming into uh, Long Island City. We talk again about Medicare for All. There's a lot of questions and follow up about that. And uh, so there's a lot more that will be on online uh, of that interview. At, so. at CBSThisMorning.com, you can see all of that. That's exactly right. He, clear, he is up for the challenge. Don't you don't. Age, as many people say, age is just a number. That's, That's right. right. Age That's is right. just a number. Yeah. And he certainly is out there uh, campaigning quite a lot. He also, right. we also talk about the, the 25th Amendment and Andrew McCabe. So a lot on a lot. Lots of good stuff. All right, All right John.